Okay, in this video, I want to show you how to change out a keyboard in a um, Toshiba Satellite laptop. This particular laptop is the Toshiba Satellite A's and Apple 665. But again, this will work with any Toshiba Satellite laptop. Um, I just purchased one used on eBay. And you'll be able to see that it's very easy. It takes less than 10 minutes. The only tools you'll need is like a Phillips head screwdriver and a, a small flathead or a steak knife will work. And um, as we pull it out here, this particular keyboard is not working anymore. When I type in a letter, it'll it'll type in three letters at once, um, or four letters sometimes. And, but this this will work if you know if your keyboard just doesn't type anymore. Uh, you're missing several keys for whatever reason. It's dirty. You could just go online and buy you a new one or a used one. I bought this one used on eBay. And um, best thing to do is um, is to pick out a part number, and usually it'll be on the back. It'll usually say model number, but I would recommend taking your old keyboard out, reading the number on it, and then plugging that into eBay in search, and type in you know the model number and see if you can get one that pulls your model up, and of course visually inspect it to make sure you're buying the right one. Um, and um, now you can technically type in Toshiba Satellite and then your model number. You know, mine's an A665, and you can put keyboard into like into the eBay search uh, or the Amazon search. You can do that, but I will tell you that most likely you'll pay more for it. Um, it's better to put in the the part number itself. All right, so. When we examine, when we physically examine this one, we can see that there's three holes in here. But what I would recommend, you're not going to have that that to your um, to your hands until you actually see the the keyboard that you've got that you've gotten. So I'd recommend um, to unscrew different screws on the bottom. Sometimes you have to take the the uh, battery out, and there might be three or four here. Just be careful what you're doing and make sure you know which ones are go into which hole. Um, on Toshiba satellites, I know it's usually ones that have like a like an like a like a um, a big hole there. This is like this screw here is flush to the surface, and these are you got a big gap there. So you can just start unscrewing screws on the bottom. And what it's doing is, as you can see, it's catching. There's three little things that go into your laptop, and the screw will catch it in and grab it and make it tight. And so we know it's actually three here. But and then you know you could take other screws out just to make just just to be safe. And what you're actually going to do, which is a little little trick I've learned, you're going to actually push up into one of the in, into one of the holes. As you can see here, I'm actually going to push up with my screwdriver and actually pop it out, the keyboard out. So as you can see, as I push up, the keyboard pops up. You don't have to really worry about damaging it because it's the broken one. And that came out real nicely. And there's going to be a ribbon that's going to be attached to it that you're going to have to 
undo. Sometimes it's a little flap that you have to push up towards you. In this particular one, it's little plastic grooves that you want to actually push away from you. Now well, that actually just popped right out. But as you can see here, these two little things open and close. That part's pretty easy. And as I change it out with another one, it should nicely slide back in there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to push those little plastic levels levels back down. All right. And that should stick and you're just going to reverse everything you did, pop that back in there and put in your screws. And also need to get a new screen for this one that I, I just purchased as well. All right, this will work with any Toshiba satellite again. Um, don't matter what your satellite is, it's a pretty easy procedure. All right, thank you for watching.